Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Africa Harrigan and today I will be sharing with you an update on my Louis Vuitton Louise in the PM size. Now, thank you so much for all those wonderful comments that I received on my last video. All you guys just make me smile and feel so warm and fuzzy inside when I read your comments. Um, yeah, guess what? I had a blast. I did. I went out with my friends, as you know, to a restaurant and to the movies, and I really and truly had an awesome time. But one of my friends pointed out to me, hey, Africa, you know you've done the unboxing for this Louis Vuitton, Louis PM, but you've never given us an update. You've never shared with us the wear and tear on this particular piece. And I said, you know something? You're absolutely correct. So the next video, I'll just go ahead and feature her, sharing with you all of the wear and tears on it. Let's go over the aesthetics of this piece. As you know, it's a gorgeous, I mean gorgeous, Verney leather. Here you have the logo, the LV logo in front with the brass. The back continues on in the back with the gorgeous Verney leather there. And then when you open her up, there's the flap, a slip pocket actually and then in the back there's another slip pocket there's a main compartment and then here is the zipper compartment and of course you know the gold chain okay so let's start out with the verney leather verney leather as you know is stunning beautiful gorgeous it doesn't really age that quickly and i must say that i feel as though this purse hasn't really aged at all and it's been two years seriously and i've been using her especially mostly when i go out but when you look at this piece it's like did you just buy her <laughs> did you just purchase her because there's i i you'll see you'll see the wear and tear on the logo there's hardly any the only thing that i would say it's the hairline scratches. I don't know if you're able to see it, but you'll see like the little scratches going across and that will be it. But it, as you take a look yourselves, you'll see that there is no brown, there's no rust. There's not really no type of discoloration. All you see, if you can see it, is hair, our hairline scratches. So I would say that maybe if you are interested in purchasing this, keeping on um, some kind of protective clear something on it might help you out a little bit if hairline scratches bother you. So I would say that whatever material, whatever brass that Louis Vuitton made in constructing the Louis Vuitton Louise, it's awesome. Because I do have SLGs, um, like for example, my key clay, where you can start to see some wear and tear on it, where you can start to see it beginning to discolor a little bit. But on the Louise, there's no discoloration. Not at all. Take a look. <laughs> the Verney leather almost seems to be timeless, classic in a sense. There's no age. There are no, no wears. There's no scratches. There are no holes. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect the verney leather is perfect the only thing that i would say with the verney leather is that no matter how many times you clean off your handbag your fingerprints are still visible once you pick her up again like for example can you see my fingerprints a little bit <laughs> my fingerprints are i don't know if you can see it from the video but yeah you can definitely see uh you know as i shine the light on it my fingerprints so i would say that for verney leather try to get like a little soft microfiber cloth just to wipe her off if your fingerprints bug you out <laughs> if they really bother you they don't bother me anymore at first when i first had it i'm like oh my goodness i have to take off my fingerprints i have to wipe it off again and that's how i used to be and now i'm just like okay girl no I'm just going to enjoy you and I'll just clean you up at the end of the night and we're all good to go. And she's perfect again, right back in her dust bag. Of course, you know, I keep all my bags in a dust bag just to protect the integrity of all of my pieces. So the interior, this material here is actually really nice. Again, no scratches. Check it out. No, no holes, no wear and tears. Absolutely nothing at all. 
here inside the same thing the zipper is just as buttery and as gorgeous no discoloration on any of the brass none none at all and even when i take out the chain you would think that being that this is something that we're touching all the time that there may be uh you know begin to change colors and no <laughs> not even that check it out check her out for yourself i must say that even all the way down to the stitching is awesome check it out right here perfect 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 nothing is coming loose perfect nothing is coming off fabulous even around on this side nothing is coming to loose everything is still in place just like the day that i first acquired her into my collection i would definitely say that louis vuitton would get a straight a on this like i said the biggest wear and tear on this purse are hairline scratches that's it <laughs> take a look for yourself hairline scratches that's it. And it's been two years with the Louis Vuitton Louis. How do I still feel about her? I still feel like she is an elegant, timeless piece. You know, at first I was definitely a little bit nervous in acquiring something in Vernice into my collection from Louis Vuitton because of the fingerprint issue. But then I realized that it's a really minor issue. You can always just use a microfiber cloth and just wipe off the bag and bring her back to her original state and her original beauty. Now, what can I do about the hairline scratches? Nothing. <laughs> it's already too late. I can't do anything. It doesn't make sense to cover a plastic film or anything over it because it's too late. All I can do at this particular point in time is just enjoy the piece and enjoy the bag. But I do love the fact that the stitching is in place. I love the fact that the gold, the brass, it's not gold, but it's brass, is not discolored. It's not losing its grandeur. It's still shiny. It hasn't even lost its luster. It's still beautiful and shiny as though I purchased her not too long ago. And it's been two years. So I would definitely say that this is a fabulous piece. Even if you look at the brass um, that's connecting the chain, uh, the little D-ring inside there, nothing, no discoloration, any part of this bag. So Louis Vuitton did an awesome job even crafting this purse together. And I must say that she's a, a, a fantastic travel companion. If I'm traveling and I take my Louis Vuitton Neverfull with me and I say that I want a smaller purse other than the pochette that comes with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, I'll bring her with me because she's a great crossbody bag. You can wear her in the daytime and in the evening time. It's up to you how you want to dress. If you want to dress casually and let the bag shine, if you want to um, dress up elegantly and still let the bag shine, it's completely and totally up to you how you want to use this particular purse. But I would say and that every lady who's into Louis Vuitton and into luxury bags and into luxury purses, please acquire her in your collection <laughs> because she will not let you down, seriously. You will still be in love with her just like the day you bought her the first time, just like the day you took her home. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, any additional video requests, thank you, my darling, for even requesting me to do this wear and tear update. This is definitely fun to do. And um, yeah, anything more that you guys want me to film, just leave it in the comment box below. Let me know what it is that you want to see more of. Also, I had got a video request to do a get to know me video. I'm not really sure um, what angle I should go with this, but you know what? I'll let you guys ask me the questions and I will just basically form a video off of your questions. So if you have any questions, leave them in a the comment box below. Or if you're an uncomfortable making public comments, you can always inbox me. I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and on Facebook, Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Africa Harrigan. Stay beautiful.